people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another Security Breach Voices video. I was not expecting to have more voices this soon, but here we are with two brand new auditions for the game. First up, brand new office. I saw a few people requesting that I change it, so here we are, brand new office. Hope you guys, I hope you like it. <laughs> Anyways, let's not waste any more time and let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so since our last meeting, not too long ago actually, um, Scott has hired two brand new voice actors and actresses for Security Breach. Um, I should add that on because uh, just like last time, we have a returning voice actor. We got Tim! So Tim was actually the voice of Nightmare Freddy in Ultimate Custom Night, and it looks like he will be returning for Security Breach, um, and he's going to be voicing the Robotic Overlord. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> That's really terrifying, just the idea of a Robotic Overlord in the game. This definitely seems like whoever this is might be some sort of villain. The Overlord part really makes it seem like it's they're not going to be on our side, and I've seen a lot of people speculating that it could be Glamrock Freddy. Seeing as Tim already voices a Freddy, you know, maybe he'll keep the tradition tradition going. Um, but I don't know, man, the Robotic Overlord part really, really doesn't scream, you know, Glamrock Freddy. But then again, Scott, lo Scott loves to have cryptic... Um, you know, audition titles for the, uh, for the characters, so, who knows? Yeah, I mean, really? Those are the only options we have of now? Uh, it could be Monty? It, it really could be Monty? I don't, I don't really know. Again, Scott and his cryptic titles really, really messing with my brain here. So, it could be Glamrock Footy, which I think a lot of people are saying is the most likely option. Could be Monty, which... Uh, I don't know, it's a possibility, but I feel like it won't be. Or it could be some sort of villain type character, but... Uh, I don't, I don't really know, because I feel like the main villain, if you want to call them that, is probably going to be Vanny and Glitchtrap again, kind of like Help Wanted. Um, so, I don't know, unless he's voicing Glitchtrap, which I really don't want Glitchtrap to have a voice. I feel like what made him so creepy is just the noises he made. I don't know, this one's very interesting. Um, so we're gonna move on to the next one. Again, leave your speculations in the comments. So we have another voice actress for the what a sweet kid, no evil intentions character. Again, it's really interesting because this this is not the first time Scott hired two voice actors to voice the same character. A lot of people are pointing out the similarities between this audition and the Nightmare Own edition, where Scott did hire multiple voice actors for Nightmare Own, but only chose one. So either Scott is just, he, he's pulling a, another Nightmare Own situation where he wants to make sure he has the right voice actress for the right character, and it suits the character well, so he will choose either Melissa or Samantha. Or maybe they will have two voices going on at the same time, but I feel like that may be a bit complex, a bit complicated for the character. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Or, the What a Sweet Kid, No Evil Intentions could be multiple characters. Could be, you know, Samantha voices one kid and Melissa voices another kid. I don't, I don't really know. It's interesting. God, I keep saying it's interesting a lot. I need to stop doing that. It's so, so annoying. I'm sorry, but it's just... I mean, it is interesting. It's also worth pointing out that Melissa, um, as opposed to Samantha, is a adult voice actor rather than a kid voice actor. So, unless they can do a really good kid voice, that's also another interesting observation. Another thing that I saw being thrown around, um, I'm pretty sure it was on the Reddit, is maybe these, what a sweet kid, no evil intentions, could be the animatronics themselves. It could be the children possessing the animatronics, so maybe Samantha and Melissa are voicing Roxanne and Glamrock Chica as opposed to actual kids. Which honestly, that does make sense, um, and you could look at it, you know, from two different perspectives. Either the animatronics are already possessed, and that's just what they sound like, or Vanny kills some kids, and then they possess the animatronics, and then that's what they sound like. Um, you could, it could go either way. <laughs> This game has a lot of mystery surrounding it. I also would not be too surprised if we keep getting more 
voice actors and actresses um, revealed over the next couple of days, maybe even up to a week, because it seems like this is a huge project. Um, and another thing to point out is the fact that we are getting a lot of voice actors and actresses right now, um, and I think a lot of people are speculating, oh, the game's nearing completion, and just like I said last, last video, I think that's kind of the case. I think Stewall and Scott are realizing, um, not, not that we're getting impatient, well, that is kind of true, you know, all the 10 year olds over on the Reddit, when's Security Breach coming out? But I feel like they've realized that it's been a bit. It's been a bit, they haven't really said a whole lot, so I feel like they're really trying to work on this game and really get it done. And so that's why I feel like we're getting just so much voice actors right now. I still feel like a late this year release date is still going to happen. Again, September, maybe even going into October or November. I feel like around then, and again, my mind is still set on that August 8th trailer release date. And then in the trailer, we will get a release date for the actual game. That is still my thoughts. I'm still sticking by that. You guys, of course, will have your own opinions on release dates, but you know, in the end, the game is going great. I'm I'm really happy to see how, how it's going to turn out because again, it is a huge project. I I said this in a comment on one of the uh, one of the other videos, but this ha this game has a lot to has a, a lot of um, weight on its shoulders. It has to do a lot of stuff. It has to carry on the success that Help Wanted had because that game took off. That was that was just. An insane game. The sales on that game, I can't remember what it was exactly, but that game sold millions. It has to be able to draw in people that are new to the franchise because, you know, FNAF has had a resurgence uh, recently for some reason, I don't know why. It was probably the man behind the slaughter meme. And also, you know, we haven't had a FNAF game in a really long time. I think uh, Special Delivery is doing a good job, you know, Hiding the fact that it's been a bit since we've had a FNAF game. Uh, uh, Special Delivery was released in November, and I guess technically Freddy in Space 2 was released in December, but even if you're counting that, it's been over half a year since the last FNAF game. And so it it has to come off of that. I really hope Steerwell is working hard on this game. I really do hope that they take their time, because much like the movie, I'd rather wait five years for it to come out and have it be really good than have three movies come out in like two years and them be absolutely terrible. So yeah, that is that. Sorry I talked uh, quite a lot at the end. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if we get more voices sometime soon. Um, I might wait until we have, you know, a good chunk of voices for the next video because, you know, covering three and two voices in one video is going to make a lot of videos, so I might wait a little bit if we do get more voices, but as of now, this is the roster so far. So thank you guys so much for watching, stay tuned for more news coming sometime in the future, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.